Greetings from Dubrovnik. You can see just in behind my shoulder there is the uh, the wall of the old town. Um, the place looks pretty packed. Uh, so we're just going to anchor here for lunch and then head off to our next port for uh, the next couple of days. Alyssa and I were back here in 2006 I think and we, we spent quite a bit of time here. It is pretty cool to be anchored in your own boat just outside a place like this though. Um, pretty stoked. A little video from uh, Quick Sail in Croatia. So we spent the last night in a place called Laput where there were some really strong winds um, that came through. 47 point something was the strongest I think we got at four in the morning. Um, so we had a good sandy bed there to anchor so we spent the last two nights just chilling out waiting for the strong winds to blow over. So today we're heading up to a, uh, a place called Ston which is uh, straight ahead of us. Um, you can see those two sailboats right ahead. So that's where we're headed. Um, at this speed at 7.4 knots now. We're gonna be there in like under an hour which is, which is great. This is quite a surprise for me. I didn't realize we were gonna see such history today, but behind me is a wall. It's the second longest continuous wall in the world, second only to the Great Wall of China, which I'm just amazed that we've stumbled across this. Uh, the wall was built in the 14th century, uh, and it goes up over this hill down to another town called Marlistone, which Alyssa and I'll go and check out later. Hi, so I just wanted to show you our anchorage that we have here in Nilia National Park. Um, it's a gorgeous anchorage here. It's uh, really peaceful and quiet except for a few kids who are on school holidays right now and a few people rushing around in tenders. But otherwise it is gorgeous. Um, if you can see behind me, it is uh, beautiful blue waters. There's hundreds of little fish which are swimming around. Um, really clear and calm. Alyssa, how much fun are you having? Oh, I love riding bikes. <laughs> you look like a little kid you've like straighten your arms that's it you look more in control now i'm not in control so we sucked it up and we paid the 250 kuna to come and cycle around Millet national park it's quite peaceful i haven't fallen off my bike yet no and we saw three donkeys three donkeys no. thanks mel for the recommendation Hasn't really delivered yet, but I'm sure it's going to be a strong finish. Three months away, two months on the boat, hangover number two today. But 
sailing's good for it. And we've got our pretty blue sail up today. Um, I love this sail, it's so bright and colourful. And we're doing almost five knots and ten knots of breeze. So we finished our sail for the day and staying in an island called Cedaro. Uh, Chris is hanging out watching the Formula 1, trying to recover from his hangover from our fun night out on the town last night. Um, and I'm sitting here reading. It's a really nice little anchorage. Um, we're tied onto shore so we're getting a bit of, bit of waves from the ocean. Uh, but it's really nice. Morning all. So just to update you on the events of last night, uh, we stayed at Cedro for the night, had a lovely little anchorage um, with a stern tied to the shore next to a little rocky outcrop. Um, when we arrived it was forecast for no wind so we put out maybe a little bit less chain than we would usually do and we'll put it pretty close to the rocks but comfortable with the anchorage. Uh, then just before we went to bed there was a storm warning that was issued for the whole of Croatia which um, was forecast with some fresh winds which isn't too strong so we went to bed hoping that the storm wouldn't be too uh, serious. Uh, got up about half an hour later when the wind started to pick up and the lightning and thunder started and uh, outside of the boat when we got hit by 40 knot winds and Chris saw our anchor go so ran to the back of the boat turned on the engines and we had to cut our line to the shore um, so that we didn't end up on the rocks so it was it was pretty intense came very close to ending up on the rocks but we didn't which was fantastic we had to get out of there at night there was lots of boats everyone was running into each other a um, lot of lightning a lot of thunder so high drama managed to get out of there and re-anchored in the middle of the bay that we were in um, we've checked the boat this morning Chris has checked all the rudders everything everything is fine from last night's storm and 42 nights and almost being washed up onto the rocks to today we're in like I don't know. How, what's the wind speed? 30, 30 knots. 30 knots. This came out of nowhere. Croatia just keeps delivering on uh, on keeping you on your toes. The captain up here is doing a good job. Alyssa, you're the captain. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> She's concentrating right now. So one of the cool things about our boat is that it has two escape hatches, which hopefully we don't have to use. But in rough weather like today, it's actually a nice little viewing platform. So I'm down in our in our bedroom, the owner's hole, and I'll just show you what the uh, the water passing by looks like. You can see the other hatch in the uh, porthole, but it is like a it's pretty crazy out there. What do you want to say about the yacht, Chris? It's my birthday soon. I'll just I'll just take the helicopter. I don't need the boat. Just the helicopter. <laughs> 